Hi guys, welcome along to another edition of Build With A&E. In this episode, we're back at the Regency renovation and we're gonna show you a lot of progress which has been going on in the bathrooms and en suites in the building. We're gonna show you floors going down and walls going up. So stay tuned and enjoy the show. So guys, we're making good progress in the bathrooms upstairs. This is the guest ensuite. The floor is cut. We've got a few more boards to put in here, but we won't cut those until this is properly secured down. The reason we do that is because when we're fixing these floorboards down, we actually need to push them, well, clamp them up tight to each other just to save any movement and obviously make sure there's no gaps in between. So when we do that, it's gonna obviously shove everything this way. So if we get everything cut now, by the time we've pushed all these in, these ones are gonna be loose and our pipes centers are probably going to be off so we're going to get the rest of this fixed down and then we can get those cut in we've got to apply patches in here because that is where the shower tray is going to go there's a wide area here for the waste so the plumbers can do their connections in there when we drop this tray on we're actually using elements board in here as well on the walls as part of our waterproofing system this is a really really great product that we like to use uh, it's pretty straightforward to use you literally just fix it to the wall then we apply some tanking strips on the vertical points uh, on the corners and around the shower tray and that's it basically that is ready waterproof and good to go so yeah that's all good moisture resistant board on the walls as well now there is some patchwork to do which we'll do once the floor is down because we've obviously cleaned all in between the joists out that's all been hoovered out and now insulated as well so the last thing we want to do is fill that with a load of debris from the walls so there's only a little bit of patchwork to do in here just under the windows this will be done in lime plaster as well just to help make sure that the wall can breathe properly our elements board on the wall and we've kept some of the original plaster on this this is the original stud wall with the latin plaster on so that's there so we've we've managed to maintain this so what it did mean is to marry through with this plaster over here we've had to put some 18 mil ply in first and then our 12 mil elements board on top and that's brought us through nicely with the existing plaster you can actually plaster onto this as well our tiles are going to come up to the earth tray but there's going to be a very small area just here which will obviously be shown so when we skim this you'll, you'll never know it was there so we're going to stick the elements board onto this wall. It's a 900 by 900 quadrant tray, a corner tray going in there. So we'll put another full sheet of elements board in there and then the rest will be moisture resistant board on that wall just to make sure we have no issues with any damp further down the line. Uh, external wall there, that will all be patched in with lime plaster. And then we're gonna do some repairs on this wall as well. The, like I mentioned before, this is a ply floor in here because this is gonna have underfloor heating and tiles. So these are all cut to size. We just need to get our waste cut in here. Once the tray actually arrives, uh, there was a little bit of an issue that we did get sent the wrong one. So we weren't 100% sure where the waste was. So we've actually just cut this. This is just loose in here, cut down there. So this can be removed. The waste is underneath. So exactly when we know exactly where it is, then we can get that cut in there. But the rest of the floor is ready to stick down. So that's my next job.
So this room is looking awesome. We've had to replace the whole floor in here. These floorboards, as on the other bathroom as well, are actually reclaimed timber, which have been planed down and trimmed down to obviously make floorboards. So one good thing about these, because they weren't actually used as floorboards before, they haven't got all the holes everywhere that you would have with reclaimed boards. There's loads of nail holes, so if we were to do that and put a new floor down in here, we'd end up with loads of holes everywhere, which although the client wants that sort of rustic, original look. It's still going to look awesome like this and obviously it saves all the holes everywhere because holes mean water can penetrate through and get onto the ceiling below. So we just thought this was a much better option. As I mentioned in the other room, these have all got to be clamped together and pushed down. So there's only a few more boards they can get cut in here before we need to get the rest of the floor fixed down. Right, so we're using a rock wall sound insulation. We always use this product. It's really fantastic. It's basically fireproof, very, very good at sound deadening as well. So it's really, in our opinion, it's a great choice to use in any application stood walls, floors, ceilings, makes sense to use it. So yeah, we've got elements board to go in here as well, there and there. For the rest of that wall, it will be lime plaster and above it as well. All these floors up here are now completely nailed down and ready for the sanding guys. These bits have been patched in. There was a guy that asked on one of our previous videos about how we would sort out this line. If you remember from the joist video that we did, there was a straight line all the way across here through all the joints. So what we've done is cut some of these back and then piece these bits in like this. So obviously once this is all sanded in, it will look absolutely mint and you won't have that straight join right the way across there. Somebody also asked as well about wrapping the ends of the joists in uh, damp proof. We have all done that, they were all done. The video just showed me putting the first few temporary ones in just to get everything right. But obviously that was all taken out and then the framework was put in and everything and the, the joists were wrapped before they were put in because this isn't a cavity wall. So any moisture could potentially transfer through the wall into the ends of the joist and cause rot again, which which we obviously we don't want. So I need to, in this room, get the last bits of lime on in here. This room is ready. You're gonna get some lime on that wall today as well. Get this wall sorted out and patched up. In this bathroom, the floor is down, like you saw on one of the videos before, hopefully. This wall is pretty shot on here as well, so we're gonna have to make a bit of a decision as to what we do on there. So I'm now in the master on suite. Our shower tray is gonna go right here. What we're going to do is basically just make it accessible for when the plumbers come to fit the tray. They need to be able to get their waste in, and I wanna get on with these walls. So what we'd originally planned wouldn't really work. So we've just adapted it slightly. I've just cut the board down into three sections. So I'm gonna fix this section fix the end section and leave the middle section removable so I can get on with my boards on the wall, get my aqua panel on and then this panel can be taken out then for the plumbers to do all their first fix of the, the trap. So that's it, nobody's getting held up. You can do all that and then everything can be done afterwards. So all good, I'll time up it and you can watch me stick this down. middle piece because I have used some D4 adhesive around there and the last thing I want to do because it expands you can probably see over here the last thing I want to do is stick that board down and I've just done this purposely so I can take it back out. Yeah cool I can crack on with the walls now. If you've enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Like, comment, and of course, subscribe to our channel. You've been watching me, John, and the guys from Build With A&E. Until next time, stay safe.